everybody, welcome to another episode of the Chad Prather Show here from the Mothership, which is Studio 22. Of course, the puppet master, Mark, sitting at the helm, driving us into where, Mark? Where? Where? Into the uh, the episode. The nether regions, Mark. Let's get it straight. That's our destination. Candice, the queen of the Ethiopians. Candice, pull the microphone over there to yourself. I, I've got a serious question I want to ask you okay. before we get any further. I'm listening. Um, is, is there a chance... That you have the Wu-Tan flu. No, not the, at all. I've told you You this. sound like crap today. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very sweet. I need you to have some hot tea or something. I know that I can always go to you for that, like, vote of confidence. Yeah. And, like, morale boost. So, thank you. Well, here's what I want to know. I want to know if you can acquire some bat soup and we can make Party Foul Steve drink it or eat it or whatever. If Steve is the one going to be consuming it, <laughs> I can get it here by tomorrow. Got the deplorable choir in the studio today. Lindsay and CJ dropped by. I didn't realize the girls were local. These are country girls, all right? They're going to sing a couple of songs and hang out here for the episode. So don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to have the deplorable choir, and we're going to get into all kinds of nonsense that you don't want to miss. So when we go to break, I want you to welcome the deplorable choir. We don't care if you're white. Don't care if you're black. We don't care if you're gay, we're all under attack. We don't care if you're rich, don't care if you're poor. We just know what we're fighting for. Real women vote for Trump. We don't need no liberal chump, yeah. Real women vote for Trump. We don't care if you're girls, don't care if you're dudes. Heck, you can be both, that's up to you. We don't care if you're men's, women's soccer team. We're America, just living the dream. Real women vote for Trump. We don't need no liberal chump, yeah. Real women vote for Trump. Real women vote for Trump. We don't need no liberal chump, yeah. Real women vote for Trump. Yeehaw. <laughs> And Lindsay, the deplorable choir, you guys have been on a little journey. It's been interesting. When did y'all decide this was going to be a thing? I don't think we ever decided this was going to be a thing. We just kept, you know, drinking beers at our house and recording ourselves. And, and we then thought we were cute. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all were drunk while you were doing this when it started. I would look at most of our videos and you could probably there was probably on. a bu- uh, like a glass a buzz. of wine, hiding. a buzz. Yeah. Yeah, we weren't like yeah. You know. We were having fun. We were watching kids at the same time, but there's nothing like the little drunk drunk babysitting <laughs> your own kids. You can do that, right? That's how we get through the day. That's how you get the kids to sleep, too. Just give them a little spoonful of bourbon. Nothing wrong with it. And they or come bre- out. Breastfeed them to sleep, though. <laughs> little so vodka on board. You know. but, but that's a fun deal. So you guys, and so there's so many people who started out like that. Who, yeah. I know I did. It was accidental. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the social media stuff. I think it was accidental for like folks like Diamond and Silk. and Like Graham Allen meant to do it. <laughs> like Graham meant to do it. Graham called me on the phone. It's like, hey man, I want to do what you're doing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Graham, Graham, you know, Graham had started out to be a he's gonna get mad at me for talking about it, but I don't care. Uh he was gonna be an Instagram model. And then it he went viral talking about other stuff. I thought it was because his arms got too big for the Instagram photos. Yeah. Uh, Johnny think, Bravo. Yeah, Johnny Bravo. Yeah. He's a big old boy. Anyway, but it but has it been like you guys are obviously Trump supporters. Oh, we love Trump. Yeah. Yeah. That's what motivated us to start doing this was because we just were sick of, especially women in our town, because, you know, suburban women, they're supposed to vote for Trump, but they're, you know, they're ashamed. Most of moms like our age are millennials. I think they still fall in that millennial category and they're like ashamed. They're like, yes, this economy's benefiting me. Yes. Like I have more money in my pocket, but 
you know, the Real Housewives people said it's uncool to vote for Trump. And so mm-hmm. or they're like, I don't we like don't Trump. like how he tweets. So yeah. We and like then you Hillary go, Clinton. well, what did he tweet? And they have no idea. But we got sick of them. Like going out to dinner, there's a lot of them. I'm so sorry if they watch this, they're gonna hate us. But that's what's okay. new? They're they watching. already hate us. <laughs> they already hate us. So you guys are fun at the at the homeowners association <laughs> meetings every Christmas. I know that you know they're like, okay, here come those deplorable there girls. They are with their mega hats on. <laughs> it's, the, it's the PTA meetings. So do y'all do that? I mean, are you pretty unashamed when you're walking around town and whatever, oh, wear yeah. your mega? I mean, I know the videos, but. Oh yeah, no, we we wear our Trump. We got Trump shirts that we wear out. We. Sometimes I think when when we've got a, a group of people that particularly don't like us, they have the Beto stickers on their car, like we'll purposely wear a MAGA hat. I have I look like the MAGA bomber. I only have one Trump bumper sticker now because the rest were like looking pretty sad. But but you guys like I was watching a funny video the other day. This guy pulled up beside this woman and they were filming it. I told her to roll the window down. And he goes, just want to let you know somebody vandalized your car. And she was like, what? And he goes, yeah, they put a, a Hillary a uh, sticker on the back. <laughs> I was like, you know, it takes some cojones to, to do that with total strangers. But I've never understood the whole fascination with Hillary or even Beto in Texas. It doesn't make any sense I don't, to me. You know, he skateboards. Yeah, he skateboards. <laughs> that's cool. He's cool. So he's completely equipped to run the country. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's the appeal. Yeah. And that was the thing. You notice when, it, during the senatorial race when he was running against Cruz, they were pumping all that money into his campaign from like California and stuff. And so it made him look he had really Beyonce. good. Beyonce. But then when it came time, <laughs> but when it came time to run for president, they were like, no, 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 no. Texas no, no. is not having that. Or the, America, America is not having, having that. It. So but Texas didn't have it either. Yeah. Yeah. Give him the boob. I don't know what he's doing now. So you guys, and we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff together. Y'all don't even y'all. Don't, I'm just <laughs> telling you, since y'all are into dictators, I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> We're gonna do some stuff together. We got yes. some plans. We got. I, I think you guys should come to my Corpus Christi show and perform uh, February fifteenth. I think you should come to my Huntsville show June sixth. And we got others. We're Put us there. on the website because, because you know what? We are actual <laughs> deplorables. We yeah. are. Like like people don't like us. No. Like nobody wants to do stuff with us. Like that. The, they get mad at the us. The name fits us for real. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. So we got we got to stick together. We We're, actually tried to find a third member when our third quit, and no one wanted to join us. <laughs> <laughs> so That's we're like, okay. we'll do it as two. It works you got way. it. <laughs> I've had this idea. Steve knows about it. We talked about it. I had this idea of putting together a show that's got comedy, it's got music, and it's just kind of a variety show. It's just down-home, common roots, you know, that kind of thing. People with values, not unlike the left. <laughs> and we just go out there and get on stage and have a good time, go at each other and have fun. And I kept saying, I gotta get a Dolly Parton. I gotta, I need a Dolly Parton. Ooh. So now, now I got two. So it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. We'll tease our hair for you. And wear, there you go. You know. But I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like, got Dolly, Dolly could do it all, and right? We got the boobs, mm-hmm. but... and so y'all get to come. <laughs> Except CJ's gotta learn how to take jokes because we... <laughs> I'm fairly she just a little takes her five strange. minutes to get the joke. <laughs> Tack Pack is the premier monthly subscription box for military, tactical, and Second Amendment enthusiasts. For just $49.95 a month, they'll ship you at least $100 worth of gear from companies like 511, Hex Mag, Mission First, Tactical, Armaspec, and America Grip, to just name a few. They ship out AR-15 parts, EDC tools, knives, cleaning kits, a mix of other tactical gear and apparel direct to you. Sign up today for the February pack, which is worth $200. It includes an American-made AR-15 part from Texas that will totally redefine your kit. Go to TACPAC.com. And when you use the promo code CHAD at checkout, you'll receive a free extra bag of tactical goodies shipped out with your first pack. So if you're into tactical gear from the best companies for half the price, TAC Pack is for you. Go to TACPAC.com. That's T-A-C-PAC.com and get the February pack today. TACPAC.com, offer code CHAD. You guys were telling me about, uh, we won't even get into that, but y'all were talking about some of the lyrics of, that y'all wanted to put into songs and you haven't, and I'm stealing them. <laughs> you know? 
it's okay. Yeah. Give us a co-write. <laughs> I will. I, if, if you write a word, you're in I'm for a gonna third. I'm going to take That's that out of our song. It can be in yours. Okay. Just put her name on no, it. But you know what? It's <laughs> yeah. not quite out of our song yet. I'm still ready to fight for that that line. I love but that line. you can line. have it in yours too. And I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to say what it is. But it gave me a great idea for a song. Do you know what is my favorite? This is like totally off the wall, but... I like to write songs where you take a line from each song and start a new song. Nice. So you could just continue this song with yeah. your new. <laughs> That's what it's, I'll do. Can I just say it's going to be called Suck a Cocktail? Or no? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like that line. I wasn't going to tell anyone, but there you, you go. You ever sucked a cocktail Sorry, from guys, someone else's bar? Sorry, guys. I just felt like this awkward. I needed to tell somebody. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> or y'all, everyone. That's a good line. That's a good line. <laughs> it's a good comedic line. So, are y'all still looking for a third person? No, no, no it's just it. Unless it's a duo. A the choir is now do a duo. You want to be in the deplorable choir? I don't know about all that. That's crazy. <laughs> See how hard it is. Re seriously, rebrand it the deplorable duo. No, no, leave it deplorable choir. We can right the DC. These girls are larger than life. It's got to be deplorable choir. So I love it. Like own it. Yeah. yeah. It, the choir is like everybody else. Everybody else. Yeah, because. Because anyone there's can a lot sing of, for Trump. There's a lot of crappy, God-loving, family-loving, hard-working Americans that yeah. are the choir. <laughs> Blue-collar backbone of America. Pull yourself yeah. up by your bootstraps. Blaze your own trail. I like it. That. That kind of <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Work Just hard. Keep your head above water. <laughs> Work six days a week. Take your kids to church. Teach them values. Horrible people, Horrible right? Horrible deplorables. <laughs> who's, who's writing the songs? Are y'all writing them together? Yeah, we write them together pretty much like we have a, another guy that comes and helps us write but you know once again like he doesn't want his name to be known because it'll ruin his career yeah so. yeah but we ran most of them by ourselves some of yeah. them we sometimes will co-write um but normally it's me and her you, you gotta follow if you're not following the horrible choir on instagram and all the stuff what's y'all's twitter Y'all on Twitter? Y'all tweeting? Yeah, we're Deplorable Choir. Deplorable, deplorable we mainly choir. like our Facebook and YouTube, but we tweet some. Yeah. Oh, I feel like we tweet a lot. We have a lot of people on Twitter. No, yeah, we tweet. Yeah. We tweet. And we're on TikTok now. Oh, we're yeah. Like, we're I noticed it. that you were doing the TikTok thing, and you were sharing some of the TikTok videos over to Instagram. I can't and... stop watching TikTok. Are, Are you, you on TikTok? I am on TikTok. Do you make videos? I make videos. Let's you make a TikTok, y'all. Uh, we'll make a TikTok before we leave the studio. <laughs> yeah, it's Chad Prather. I think it's Chad. Or maybe Watch Chad. I don't know. I, I tried to... I, so much of it is Watch Chad and then Chad Prather. But anyway, I like. I can't figure it out because these kids are on there for these nine seconds. Like, it takes work to do TikTok. Like, it you does. really got to You can't just, like, do an Instagram story. You have no. to, like, dance or, like... You got to do something stupid, add the music. Yeah. And... These kids are getting millions and millions of views. They're probably just selling their souls to the devil and giving all their information <laughs> to the Chinese. But, like, I'm willing to do that for a little more promotion, you know? I'm okay. You get in with the younger crowd, too. I, I don't, you, you know. You just have to dance. I guess. Wiggle around like Luke Bryan. I don't know what you're just... <laughs> <laughs> Luke Bryan doesn't have an ass. I don't know if y'all know that or not. We oh, talk about that often. I could, I could argue with you on that. Yeah, he I doesn't have an ass. That's why he wears super tight uh, spandex And they look jeans. good on him. Does he have a butt stuffer? Like a well, he doesn't, because if he wore regular pads? jeans, it would just butt be pads? like Steve's butt, a back and a, a butt crack. butt stuffer? What's that? I might need that. You need I a butt know. stuffer. I don't know. Ask Lindsay about it. Stop <laughs> it. What is wrong with you? I don't have butt pads on, by the way. <laughs> yeah. No. Where does Lindsay has butt fillers. Where Here, you can get up and go get where your Where does one go to get butt pads? No, they're like underwear <laughs> with pads in them. It's a yeah. free for all in Studio 22, people. <laughs> Pillow fight. It's a melee. God. <laughs> you and that hat. I like wearing hats. They don't like me. You like throwing. You like throwing your head back when you laugh too. <laughs> because it's, everything is so funny. We're gonna have to get you a chin strap, tie it on. Your yeah, hat's right. too big. Like you need to get a little smaller. Dundee. All right, so back to Lindsay and her butt pads. <laughs> Stop! I've bought butt pads before, and I've worn them once, and they looked great. We yeah. have inherently—is that the right yeah, word? Yeah, we don't Flat have butts either. Butts. <laughs> My dad's butt goes like inward. It's concave. <laughs> yeah. Steve's does too. Like I said, it's a back and a crack. Lindsay could give you a website. <laughs> Help that out. No, they, they were I'm a little sorry. weird. I, I would have said that. Steve's going to get injections, back alley fillers, <laughs> put some cement in his Silicone. cheeks. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. This show. I love it. <laughs> Impeachment, gun confiscation, abortion, 
Open border, San Francisco and Virginia. Hey, this is the future the left is planning for you, and they're funded by major corporations like Verizon and AT&T. We don't even realize that we're funding the machine trying to destroy our Constitution, our values, and our country every time we pick up our cell phones. These are huge companies, and they constantly partner with the left. But who is partnering with you? Well, I'll tell you. Patriot Mobile is. Patriot Mobile is the only company protecting the Constitution and American values with every single call you make by donating a portion of your bill to conservative causes, and they don't just talk. They walk the walk, participating in the March for Life, the Profile Summit, and starting at just $25. Plans come with unlimited talk, text, and the same reliable nationwide service with no hidden fees. Go to patriotmobile.com slash chad, and when you use the offer code chad, get a free month of service and a free gift when you open a new line. Or call their U.S.-based customer service team at 877-367-7524. We need to stick together when it comes to the companies we support. Join the fight. Join our family. PatriotMobile.com slash chat or 877-367-7524. That's 877-367-7524. You guys are, y'all are stay-at-home moms when yes. you're not out doing live shows. Mm-hmm. How long have y'all been, first, let's, we'll get to that in a second. How long have y'all been doing live shows? A year? Yeah, I guess it was probably a year ago in November when we had the first show. Yeah, because y'all were doing, you were doing it with uh, the Deplorable Tour. Yeah. Um, Terrence, Terrence. And Michael Loftus. Yes, and those Steve guys, McGrew, Brian Hayner, yeah. Steve McGrew. And then just different that's kind of been a jumble of mixing up with folks terrence and mcgrew have kind of stayed a yeah, part of the deplorable thing yeah they're still doing the de- i mean they've had a couple shows and then yeah loftus has was with you and then yeah Dad. and then well and then i did some with loftus and yeah. hanner and y'all reno I mean, collier and then here we are here we are everybody's we're, <laughs> we're all outcasts we again got- <laughs> <laughs> we're all outcasts again it's not such a bad thing I mean, you know, it's it's a weird world. I mean, the world of entertainment is a weird world. You have egos involved. You got feelings involved. You got business involved. And the business is a big part of it. And and then when you mix the business decisions with the feelings, people get feelings. You know, I, I I try. I don't think I get my feelings hurt. I don't think anybody's hurt my feelings per se. It's those artistic people. And you're right. Like, well, you're funny, but comedians are sensitive. Artistic people are sensitive. And well, I've always said I'm not. I am not a comedian. I don't think of myself as a comic. I'm not a joke teller. Oh, you're not. I'm you're a storyteller. I'm just, I'm just, you're I just tell funny, funny stories, yes, right? Yes. And so then I have comedians who are like, no, you're doing, and I'm like, but I'm not a joke teller. So I'm kind of different. I'm, I'm extroverted. I'm, I'm optimistic about things. I like, I genuinely like people. And I, do you always think everything is going to like have a happy ending? Oh, yeah. That's how gonna, I am. Like for me, it's going to. Yes. We're going to make it by God happen. That's how mm-hmm. we always yeah. feel, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And I always am thinking in <laughs> terms of. I'm She's serious. Like, yeah, check. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it. Yeah. I feel like we're really positive people, don't you? Yes. If yeah. we weren't, I don't know. I don't think we'd be here. <laughs> well, we have this thing, you know, and my deal is don't tell me I can't do something. Oh, yeah. Because then right? I'm going to just go out and do it. Mm hmm. To hell with all of you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> to hell with you. You don't know what's best for you. I'm going to do it, and you're going to love it. And if you don't, don't tell me about it, because I went through all the effort to do what you didn't want me to do in the first place. And by God. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much true. And then, yeah. 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 Oh, an awkward silence. I know. I love it. I, <laughs> Deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> so moms, y'all are moms. Yes. You've got three. You've got I have three. I you have two. three. She you have two. two. Mm-hmm. Cool. Y'all got That's why we have thick skin My, because our, our kids are them. like, you know, there to keep you. It's your reality check every day. Yeah. Kids are mean to you. So we take nice breaks and drive here. Yeah. See you. It's good. And that's fun because you can kind of get out on the road a little yes. bit every now and then. And oh, yeah. Take, it's really yeah. fun. And we're stay at home moms. Like we're with our kids yeah. 24. So like being away for eight hours is like cool. <laughs> We They're still in enough. diapers too, so we got right. to deal with like literal s h i t. Yeah, so yeah. it's fun. Yeah, y'all are gonna be on an episode of Snapped. Don't know what that is, but okay. You don't, you know, don't know what, what Snapped snap is? is? Oh my gosh! Don't talk to me. It's where, like, I'm gonna the wife goes silent. crazy and kills her husband, and then like she snapped. Right. The funny thing about CJ is, like, I was taking her on the tour around the thing, and like I'm mentioning these movies and stuff. She's like, "Well, I don't know what you're talking about," but I'm like, "Really." 
This is well. I feel like we both are kind of like that. Yeah. Except like, the Dorothy slippers and Darth Vader. I knew. I know Wizard of Oz. There you go. There you go. Do your husbands like what y'all are doing, or do they just roll their eyes? Oh, and they like, whatever? love it. Do they? Yeah, I think I think they're they're pretty they're supportive until. I don't know. Maybe you, you know, know they like. I think men like to be the star of the show sometimes, and then when you're like out like acting cool because like, we're really cool right now <laughs> does, does does Corey not ever feel like no i think Corey thinks that like i'm really cool oh yeah our husbands are super <laughs> supportive kidding. oh it's like until the house is like completely messy because yeah. i'm not there to clean it you gotta you gotta hire somebody i know that's maybe get deal. one of those that's the deal you gotta hire somebody we gotta teach our kids to start cleaning up after themselves yeah get them <laughs> change their own diapers them. Um. I I found that like it would be hard for me to like I I could mention people's names uh, girls that I know who are influencers on social media and I always wonder how their husbands or even their parents deal with the attacks that come because like if they were doing that to my wife or one of my daughters it would really piss me off if uh. they got the messages that I get. Because I get oh. some strong stuff. Oh, we get strong stuff yeah. too. Our fam, our family thinks that's funny. Like we sit around and we read like the comments that people give yeah. us, and just like, it's hilarious to me, right? Yeah, I think it's hilarious. Uh, we laugh at them. They call us white mayonnaise, or what they call us. They're like chicken, no upper something. lip in that song. Uh, yeah, we're seasoned chicken. We definitely sleep with our cousins. Uh, that all we that, don't though. We we just like <laughs> we don't. Thanks care. for that disclaimer, <laughs> Lindsay. <laughs> her husband is not her cousin. <laughs> don't go across the street and you can go across the hall. <laughs> third, third cousin in East Texas. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's absolutely the truth. Yeah. I, but I find it funny. I mean, like I got a guy the other day who wished cancer on my entire family in 2020. Um, then there's people who want to come hit me with a baseball bat. And oh, yeah, we all get that. all of that. It's just silly. No, no. The left is so tolerant. They are. They're so, so loving. <laughs> yeah, show them that shirt you're wearing there, Steve. Right there. F the left. That's Love what. It. And I'm not even talking about liberals. I'm not talking about Democrats. I'm talking about leftists, like people who are just crazy. Extreme. That have just jumped off, you know, just jumped off the deep end. And they're crazy. So F the left. You can get it at uh, shop.blazemedia.com. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Chad Prather's collections. MAGA hats. Uh, MAGA hats. What hat were you describing? I love that hat that says relax. It's just an effing hat. Yeah, it's just an effing hat. <laughs> Those are funny. I But the Keep Margarita hats were great because people, you could see people just looking at you from across the room trying to see what it said. And, you know, like I, my head's too big. I can never wear any hats like that anyway. But. I, I love I love just triggering people. I know because they're so easy to you trigger. Get a reaction. Yeah, it's fun. You just stir the pot. Let I them lick the we spin. get a lot of support when we wear our Trump stuff, though. Yeah. When the Astros are playing, I have a Trump shirt with an Astros hat on, and like I forgot I was wearing it, and people are like, "Love the shirt, love the shirt," and I was like, "Oh yeah, the Astros." They're like, "No, I love Trump." I was like, "Great, yeah, <laughs> great." I forgot he was a part of that. Yeah. Well, anytime we go anywhere with our buddy David Harris Jr., and you know he's always posting his videos of getting on the plane. He's got his little banner thing, and he's flopping it out there. But he's also a six foot five black dude that could jack you up. Oh yeah. At any given time. So I'm like, yeah, Dave, you you're real bold, bro. We were real at bold. the airport. <laughs> we were at the airport wearing our MAGA hats, and this guy. We made a live video. Some guy, do you remember that? Oh, he told looked us to us. shut he, up. Yeah, he's like, word. shut up. And then, nope. sure enough, we get on the seat. We're sitting right next to him. It was nice. so fun. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk his ear off. I was like, that's yeah, what like you he didn't get. See us. I think he was embarrassed. Because I know. He didn't he's think like, he'd oh see my us gosh, again. now I got to sit next to these girls. Yeah. It's funny to watch the reactions, though, publicly. Well, I'm passionate about wearing my MAGA stuff in public because we are so nice to everybody. We really are. We're like, we're super nice. We're not like them. We're not like TDS, you know, throwing drinks on people, stealing their clothes. I don't scrub people's Beto stickers off the back of their car. I just like, you know, pray for them as I watch them roll by. But I think it's so important to go out there and wear them and tip more and yeah. be nice and be like we're walking come on billboards over. for what the, what yeah, we stand we're for we're walking talking billboards you yeah. can't silence a walking man yeah you can't silence a walking man that's what we like to say <laughs> so but we can online <laughs> get shut y'all are, down y'all are country as a mule's ass i love it <laughs> i don't know about that i don't know if i'd be worth anything if y'all, you put me to work but i mean like in a yard <laughs> oh yeah no now y'all start making my accent my want to come out even stronger I don't, we don't have accents. I think you have an accent. That's East Texas accent right there. That's Tiny Wood kind of. Is that because we're hanging out with y'all? 
probably so. In fact, you just said y'all. I mean, that's, <laughs> I, like I say y'all all the time. I got a guy who writes stuff for me every now and then, and he can't bring himself to type the word y'all because he's a freaking Yankee. Said you guys. You all. He, he'll say you all. That's my, and I'm like, that's not what I say. I don't say you all. I, I get really confused at my house because my husband's from Minnesota, and my kids say you guys sometimes. You guys. And I get really mad at them. I'm like, do you know where you live? Yeah. Eh. Did you guys see on Twitter where the hashtag Hot Girls for Bernie was trending the other day? Are there? I did. There I were saw none. that, but I did not even look. I <laughs> looked at the hashtag. Some of them were dudes. <laughs> Some of them were men. There was. <laughs> like, I retweeted one guy, and I was like, nice Adam. I was like, nice apple, Adam. You know? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Adam's apple was right there sticking out. I would think the, the hot... You know, anybody on the left is calling anything hot would be questionable, like, visually at best. It's not a good thing. No. Men it's a makeup. weird trait. Yeah. Mm. And that's a trend. Like, they're just not real. Ooh, like the, the <laughs> and girls. And I'm not calling people ugly. I'm just like, Ew. like, you've got so many piercings in your face that your skin whistles when the wind blows. It's just weird. <laughs> like, why do you do that? I don't know. But last night. When you know, did you watch the Grammys? I nope. did. Are you talking about the green hair? On I'm talking about the whole band of boys that looked like women. I didn't see that part. I did. I was thinking, good night. I, this is why I don't watch this. We turned it on for a little bit, and I was like, all is that so wrong? I can't say that, can I? Am you I allowed anything. to say that? All the girls. No, my sister's giving me the eyes. <laughs> I'm like, all the men looked like women, and all the women. Look like men. It's, it's like true. a trend. <laughs> it is. I was seeing, uh, they posted pictures on Twitter the other day of this fashion show, men's fashion show. And they were wearing like, the dresses. guys were wearing like the little doll dresses. I saw that. And I'm like, that's toxic masculinity. That is terrifying. That's what toxic this masculinity is. This is why we need is, more because men. Because if you're masculine, I don't believe true masculinity is toxic. Don't. Mm -hmm. And if it's toxic, it's not true masculinity. But when you're poisoning people's minds, making them making men be girls no and like what, that's toxic I, what happened to i'm sorry like am i old-fashioned that don't you just want to look good like be appealing mm -hmm. and what part yeah. of a man in a dress is hot to anybody even to another man right i mean like <laughs> if i was a gay man i would look at a nice hot piece of meat or something like luke bryan's <laughs> butt <laughs> and that's what i'd want <laughs> you I'll would not him. want a man in a dress <laughs> i don't yeah. know how that <laughs> exactly exactly i don't want your hairy legs sticking out of the skirt <laughs> come on ed <laughs> we're going to the salon <laughs> It's it's a it's an us day. It's a date day. We're getting out of the house. We're going to the salon. We're gonna get our toes done and get a wax. We're gonna relax. We're gonna get a coffee. I just I can't even like when I just I see I just think wouldn't you don't and I not look normal but it's just I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think I'm it's lost. like art or something to them. It's it's Same. not attractive is what it is and yeah. and there, there you can't like babies there's been studies like kids can tell like attractive this is like nobody's gonna like me after i talk about this but they they go towards the most attractive people naturally i don't know what these studies are don't quote me i just remember haven't you heard about this yep. they so you know you know that a man in a dress is not but here babies ain't coming to you if you're wearing a dress <laughs> dude not. Not and happening. dogs are probably scared of you. That's right. Well, where and, do the babies have... come into that play? Well, because people just know naturally what looks right and wrong. And now everything is what's left is right. And what's right is left. And what's down is up. And it's like it's they're doing it purposely. And they know that doesn't look good. Yeah. See, Amen. beauty is all about balance. Beauty is all about balance. <laughs> and he's like, stop and talking. That's the thing. People are too unbalanced these days. They want to be unbalanced. And then they want to defend their their imbalance. That's the that's the craziness. About I'm like, it. and if you say anything about their imbalance and say that there's anything wrong with it, well, then that's hate. I speech. just want to tell them that beauty is not in the eye of the beholder. It is wrong. Which I no take off the dress. That's it. CJ, everybody. Everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, do you ever just like does, does your does your um, flat butthole bucker whatever? My whatever what? You, <laughs> your flat butthole. You said you got a flat butt. Does, does your flat butthole just pucker whenever she starts talking? Oh like, you're like, oh god, what's like, she gonna say next? I'm gonna sit here the remainder of the show and not say anything because <laughs> oh, now no. I'm feeling this like is gold. you're all going. Why is she talking about this? I'm done. Uh -uh. All my thoughts are staying in here from now nope. on. Sorry. Nope, this is gold. <laughs> well, I'm not going to go cut my hair because, you know, 
think I look like but a woman. But that's manly. <laughs> is it? Y'all look like men. I have, I have people daily Steve, tell me. Steve fishing. I have people tell me daily I need to cut my hair. You got nice close. hair. But you know what? Thank you. All this talk about <laughs> depopulation in the world, like they're talking about constantly like Bill Gates or whoever that wants to cut the population by 15%. So they've infected the world with the coronavirus, which I don't know. You could go down a rabbit hole on Twitter. Like they're they're naturally depopulating by their outfits so, yeah. and their <laughs> lifestyle choices. So thank you, <laughs> liberals. Lifestyle choices. It's true. You can't get pregnant. <laughs> this is, and nobody wants to screw you. And we're going to be good in the end, I think. So we just keep on having babies. and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's, we'll it's going to be between theirs. us and the Muslims. <laughs> it's just who's, who has the most babies. Well, so, it's going to be our side because we're yeah. pro-life. And you're not done. You're going to keep having so babies. Muslims. I was going to say, Muslims oh, are Muslims right. Muslims are like the left and the right. right. Life. Yeah, they just, they I got think. 19 kids. I have never read, read the Quran. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, you just got put on a Muslim watch list. <laughs> we spit on her. <laughs> oh boy, howdy! Oh, man. My armpits are sweating. <laughs> I just want to tell everybody that. Just, just what else you want to talk about, CJ? <laughs> What else is running around in that head of yours? I know. I know. <laughs> oh boy, 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 boy. We're taking this on the road with us, Steve. They're oh, going. My. Oh my goodness. They're going. Oh, We're going to turn my them loose. We'll do dates at them. We'll do it. Yeah. It'll be fun. Absolutely. Bring the hubbies, bring the babies, bring everybody. It'll be a party. You'll send us home really fast. Yeah, if yeah you don't want the babies to come. <laughs> Who invited We love them? babies. We've had them. We've had folks show up at the shows with babies. It's not always a good. And what's funny to me is people always, we always say our shows are 18 and up, right? Because it's just a bit safer that way. Yeah. Because I never know. I don't have a filter, so I don't ever know. My show's not dirty, but it's, I just, you know, it's there. So we always, every show people say, hey, like is this kid friendly? Can I bring my kids? And I'm like, who would want to bring their kids to a comedy show? It's probably like every other American deplorable like south household though the stuff yeah. you say but maybe not because you're you so i i don't know i've seen you live but <laughs> i can't remember just drinking there you go you were drinking <laughs> <laughs> shocker i was too the uh but that's uh anyway yeah it's just how people speak how people talk how people do things anyway Lindsay. yeah <laughs> i don't know how you deal with her i don't know how you do it i don't yeah all Sorry, right. did I make this awkward for everybody? No. I'm no, going to quit talking not. and tell anybody. I'm, you were I'm going to be like a good woman and speak when I'm spoken to. Now my armpits are sweating, too. <laughs> I think Sorry. I noticed mine sweating I a little, like too, now. Thanks y'all, for like, sit up. here and have your flow, and I keep interjecting and making it awkward for everybody. I'm just going to stop. That's it's usually okay. my job, but you're doing great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen steve just speechless I'm gonna, on i'm gonna like i'm gonna get like uh out of a job real quick i don't know if i'm gonna like leave <laughs> oh my gosh that's classic oh i haven't been God. fired all year yet i want to keep it that way i know <laughs> open up the bottles of whiskey steve i'm ready to start back drinking yeah. <laughs> remember those days candace oh my lord have mercy oh boy howdy that okay. Was a drunk year. <laughs> so y'all's website deplorablechoir.com? Yes. Is it the deplorable choir or just deplorable it's choir? The deplorable choir. The, the deplorable, deplorable choir. I think either one works, but do the deplorable choir. Okay. Subscribe to them on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the places, Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're there. I have to check and see if I'm following y'all on Twitter. I don't know if I am or not. I, I have no idea. I know I am on Instagram. Yeah, I don't know. But your Instagram is mostly you. Just, no. Is it? Our stories is both of us, but CJ is the one that goes on a rant videos and posts. But yeah, I yeah, rarely yeah. ever put those. Most of the time, we just put pictures of ourselves. But you put a lot of pictures of yourself. I never want to take a picture of myself and post it. I don't Here think I've go. ever done it. Here yes, you go. did. You did one with your MAGA beanie hat, and you were like, "Oh, that's in right." Front of the I was Christmas feeling tree. myself that day. <laughs> hey, where's the where's the uh, where's the MAGA the big MAGA hat the Politiflops deal? It's right there. Throw me that it's thing, on the Candace. Shelf in there. Got to be right there. Was this at the show you were at down in Houston? Uh, our friends at Politiflops? Yes, I did. I remember that. that. Yeah, That's the best right there. 
Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Lindsay takes pictures of herself in hats like that. Yeah. Okay, I did once. <laughs> this, this is the deal. Our fo- our friends at politiflops.com, they got the those are the super ma- cool. Maga beanies and I hats. love that. But I it's love never that. Never hot. And, never cold It'd be enough. Cool to in go skiing Texas. with that and like flop it up. Yeah. That's funny. And then go screaming. Really, down like home. legit melt some people on the slopes. <laughs> <laughs> Knock All right. Left. Go follow them because this conversation is gonna go on I'm forever. I'm following them right now. You Yay! did it. You did it, Steve. All right. Facebook and Instagram. Check them out. I'm not go on to, TikTok. Go to my website as well. Watchchad.com. Find us on the road because I'm telling you, I'm bringing them. I'm gonna bring them to Corpus if they'll come. Corpus Christi on the 15th of February, and the uh, what is it? The June 6th in June Huntsville, 6th, that had which we announced. haven't even announced yet, but it's um, that, but now there it's it is. Secret. It's an announcement. So, and who knows? Maybe some other shows. Come on, hang out. Might as well. We'll be there. By then, it might be just one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're gonna, gonna leave here and it'll be over. <laughs> yeah, y'all might keep losing choir members. <laughs> Deplorable CJ. You know, yeah. you can suck a cocktail at someone else's bar. <laughs> oh, we both almost quit multiple times fighting with each other, so. That's funny. Don't quit. Do y'all fight amongst each other? We don't fight. Oh, we fight I mean, we all don't, the time. We, we all fight have other day. siblings? Yeah, we have a brother. Okay. But we, we fight all the, I mean, like, everything's quit. Thanksgiving's quit. Christmas, we we but just quit. CJ's on notorious for just storming out when like she it's like a slight little argument. She's I think like, he was I'm just done. trying to end this show. Oh, okay, we're ready to go, <laughs> yeah. and we, no, we start want the talking again. Fight and stuff. That's great. <laughs> and we love each other though. That's good. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Y'all are funny. Thanks for coming. Thanks for making the drive up. The door's always open. Y'all are welcome here anytime. Thanks for having us. I know this fun. is so fun. This is cool. Y'all are fun. Y'all are fun. I told you we're laid back. Comedy craziness, common sense. That's what we try to give people. I don't know how much common sense we gave today, but <laughs> but you're right. I don't disagree with a single thing you said. That's a fact. So I'm right there with you. I got your back on that one. So for the puppet master, Mark Candice, the queen of the Ethiopians. Hey, that was a pretty good review we got, wasn't it? People, people love you. I get messages, Candace the queen. Every day I get messages, people talking about Candace the queen. How, how good she is and the hard work she puts in. It's true. We have a new expose coming up and uh, might put us on the Clinton hit list. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to die over it. I think we're already on it. So at I this think point, we we're could just be moving already up in on ranking. It. You, know, um, you know what's funny? Huh. That uh, last week at our show, our li- live show, they were asking where Mark and Candace are at. And That's where's true. Natalie? So it's- they think we just travel with the whole crew from the podcast, right? It's funny. I think maybe we should try that sometimes. Go take the podcast on the road. And I keep saying, let's, let's go do it. But Candace, she hates the idea. Really? Because it's a lot of setup and a lot of work. It is. But if the big man that watches the show says you're going to do it, Candace, you're going to do it. I don't think any big men at Blaze TV watch this deep so into our show. Saying, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you say, Steve? Tyler and Gaston don't watch? They watch. Oh, first yeah. five minutes they at watch. least. They watch. Yeah. We got in huge trouble by talking about white genocide last week. Well, we didn't get in trouble, but Twitter, the Twitterverse came after us. Because uh, how dare we talk about white genocide? You know, because white people are the oppressors. <laughs> oh, was that the whole South Africa? The Jason African Bartlett, yeah. South Africa. Well, they, they're just getting what they deserve because they used to kill the blacks in South Africa. And I was like, okay. They said we were stirring up the neo-Nazis. They said that Blaze has now gone just straight neo-Nazi. I don't Which know is the, the day before Nazi. we had Coffee Anderson on, who's black, and you know, <laughs> but whatever, idiots. And then today we had Josh Hammer on, who's Jewish, yeah. or the other day, I should say. Anyway, okay, girls, Yeehaw. we're getting out here. Sorry, we got carried away. <laughs> CJ, Lindsay, the horrible choir. Thank you guys for coming in, and thank y'all for watching. Go to where podcasts are offered. Give us a good review and a five star rating. That is what we deserve. That is what we want. But you got to go to places like Apple Podcasts. Get over there, even if you're watching it on YouTube. Go right now. Give us a five-star review and pump up those rankings. We love y'all. God bless. Talk to you next time. Bye. From the clean cut to them big old boys, riding around in the big boy toys. Our favorite colors, John Deere green. Don't care about money or what you binge. We just love our real men, so bring that real tree swag on home to me. We're pro bro. We love our men with beers. We're pro, pro. Get those skin of jeans out of here. We're pro, pro. Tattoo.
tattoos and callous hands Love shooting guns and having fun Getting loved by a real man Pro, bro, oh yeah We're pro, bro, oh yeah Military, our boys in blue Hell, we love our superheroes too So come on and rock that red, white, and blue We're pro, bro We love our men with beards We're pro, bro Get those skinny jeans out of here We're pro, bro Tattoos and callous hands Love shooting guns Having fun getting loved by a real man Pro bro Oh yeah We're pro 